Welcome to Interview Pro. In today's video, we are going to discuss a feature provided by React version 16, which helps in reducing the load time of application. This concept is called lazy loading. Let's try to understand this with an example. I have an application with header containing links to home, users, about, and contact us. When you click on users, it displays the list of users, about and contact us just display the random text. So let's go back to home, uh, open developer tools, empty cache and hard refresh, go to source, static JS, static files, tutorial, open source and components. Notice that all the components are downloaded. But do you think we need all these files to be downloaded when the application is launched? Because when we initially load the application, the expectation is the home page should be loaded without any delay to provide better user experience. In our demo application, we have smaller components. Think of a real-time application. We might have hundreds of components and downloading all of them over network can introduce delay in page load, which is not expected. To solve this issue, we can use lazy loading feature provided by React starting from version 16.6. .6. Let's see the code setup first before we load our application lazily. We have already seen this code in our previous videos, but let me recap it for you. In AppJS, we have routes set up using React Router DOM version 6. And we have the header component where we have links to all the respective components. In home component, we have a login page. Let me go to home component. So this is our login page. About and contact us pages just have sample text here. And users page has the list of users displayed. This is the constant uh, list of users and I'm just looping through it, providing the navigation links so that when I click on it, it goes to the page where it displays the details of each user. But that is not important in our example now. So this is our application. Now let's add lazy loading to users, about and contact us components. Instead of directly importing these components, let me create few variables. Let's just comment this. And I'll create a constant for example, lazy users equals. We have lazy function provided by React. This function will uh, take a function call as an input. So what is that function call going to be? Import and give the path components slash users. So this function calls a dynamic import. And this dynamic import returns a promise. The lazy method will handle this promise and returns a module that contains the default React component, a default export React component. In our case, it is users. We are exporting users here. So that will be the output of this function. So instead of using directly the users component let me just replace it with lazy users let's repeat the same for about and contact us i'll name it lazy about and lazy contact us about and contact us and let me replace about component with lazy about contact us component with lazy contact us. Now let's go back to the browser and see how the application behaves. So 
So we have header, home and root JS. Now I'll click on users and see that the users uh, file is downloaded. Let me just go back again. And now I'll click on, okay, let me open it again. I'll click on about. The about file is downloaded, but we have an error in the console. Let's see what it is. The error says the component suspended while responding to synchronous input. This will cause the UI to be replaced with a loading indicator. To fix, update the suspend updates that suspend should be wrapped with start transition. What happened now is with lazy load, as in when the browser navigates to slash users, the component starts downloading. We need a placeholder until the components are loaded. To achieve this, there is another feature called suspense. So import suspense from React. I have it imported already. And wrap this component, the lazy components, with the suspend. Suspense. Suspense. And let me just move this. So suspense will take a property called fallback where we can display what we want to see until the component is loaded. This can be a component or a HTML element or a simple text. I'll just name, I'll just uh, place loading message here for now. Let's do the same for all the components. Let's go back to the browser and I'll go back to home. I'll empty cache and refresh. Now, when I browse users, we see the component about and contact us. So instead of loading, I'll just uh, write a HTML component here. So for the HTML component, you just have to place the flower braces inside which you can give the HTML content. H1 loading. Now let's go to the browser and see how this message will be displayed. I'll go to about, but uh, uh, since the network is fast, we might not be seeing that symbol and the page gets loaded in few seconds. So let's go to throttling, make it a slow 3G, refresh. So it has slowed down the network. Now let's go to about, you can see the loading. And now once the component is loaded, that loading symbol is gone. So this is all about lazy loading. Lazy loading can be helpful when your application bundle size is larger. In case of smaller bundle size, you may not see much difference. So analyze your application well and decide when and where to use lazy loading. I hope the concept is clear. Please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.